Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are back on Jasper Town Online Let's Play episode number 32. Last episode, guys, we upgraded the barbarians in the laboratory. This week, hopefully, we can get something important done, guys. We've got the wizards, dragons, and baby dragons left on the elixir side of our troops. We also need to upgrade the lightning spell, but also in dark elixir, guys, we've got the poison spell, the hay spell, and the earthquake spell, and then finally the Valkyries. We've got a lot of options, good options left in the laboratory. And then, of course, we've got five builders that are available so guys i've been using lunian once again with the lava hand of the clan castle and i'm getting crazy crazy loot so let's actually get in here and let's do us a raid oh my goodness guys look at this it's a town hall 10 with 5,000 dark elixir this is super super rare for me to find on jasper so i'm going to i'm going to forsake the three star in in hopes of grabbing all of this dark elixir now fortunately for us this is a single targeting level one inferno so it's not super op against an air attack so let's see what do we got we got uh drills on this top left side we got a storage on the left side i think we got yeah we got another drill on the bottom right but that's not a super high level drill so we're gonna definitely prioritize the left hands oh look at this an external queen guys look at that external queen i like it i like it okay so here's what we're gonna do we are going to deploy um how, how are we gonna do this let's deploy the hound here oh my goodness that hound got wrecked oh my goodness all right balloons and minions down let's get that last balloon down let's get uh hay spell and hay spell down and um and then probably let's rage into this inferno i mean look at this things are actually going fairly well for us so far i, I mean I, I i can't say i expected to actually get this far into the base but hey the troops are are willing so i'm all for it so looks like we're gonna clear up a big portion of this base just with these balloons and what about the uh oh man yeah i don't know guys this uh this queen's gonna wreck everything balloons are dying up there i've got one more haste spell i guess i can haste um oh man dang it well we've got <laughs> We got a, a sweeper kind of pulling everything off, but that's good because what we'll do is we will uh, we'll haste everything into this this uh, wizard tower, and then hopefully they'll make their way through and take out everything else. So there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on! Now that I've got close to a three star, I actually want a three star. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that. So let's see. Oh man. Okay. There's a fair amount of troops and defenses still alive. Not troops, defenses. So let's use our king and our queen to grab that dark elixir, okay? The only way we can do that is probably by uh, just going directly at it from this bottom side. So let's get the king in here. Let's get the queen in behind. There's not very many defenses, but there is a single targeting a level one inferno. So I'm pretty sure what what will happen is this king is going to swing around. Queen, wait, uh-oh. Okay, yeah, King's gonna swing around. Let's go ahead and pop his ability now. That way he uses the entire thing. Pop the Queen's ability, grab that Dark Elixir. And then also, let's get these mains over here going in toward the Elixir. And unfortunately, I think our Queen... Yeah, our Queen got targeted by the Inferno Tower and she died. So that is unfortunate, but let's see. Wow. Look at this guy. Look, look, look. This one minion is going to grab that town hall. That was amazing. Plus, if we do get this town hall, which we should, I mean, 55 seconds for a little bit of HP for a minion. I think we can pull it off. I'm not, I'm not 100% convinced. I've seen minions fall short many, many times. But look at this. We got all the dark links, which is what we came for. So that's perfect since um, everything, you know, like gold storage, electric storage are pretty much full. So come on, minion. You got this, buddy. I would poison the town hall to kill it, but that does not work in this game. So let's see. Come on, minions. Come on. Come on. Yes. Mega minion for the win. And then he goes in and get we get some uh, minion bacon. That's okay. And wow. <laughs> 5,400 combined Dark Elixir, including that loot bonus. That was gorgeous, guys. That's the best Dark Elixir I've gotten in a long time on this account. That was amazing. Very, very nice. Now, while my next army trains up, my heroes wake up and I receive another uh, CC, I'm going to show you guys this replay. And it was a 95% two-star on this Town Hall 9. It's not a dead Town Hall 9. It's a legit Town Hall 9 sitting with over 600,000 gold, which is amazing. Tons and tons of loot. Not a lot of Dark Elixir compared to what we just saw, but a lot of Golden Elixir. So we ended up in the 95% two-star. Let's watch how this happened. First of all, we've got an external queen. So what I ended up doing was coming out the, uh, coming out the base from the queen's Side, poisoning down very early putting down minions to help out to, uh, kill the enemy queen and then basically line up a just a good border of hay spells and then we throw down some raid spells into the center and I was trying to look for where's the next raid spell decided most of the troops going into the middle so that's where I put that second raid spell down there 
and then now I've got another haste belt to use wherever is needed. Now this uh, the sweeper is a big problem, guys. That sweeper is actually going to be a big issue during this attack. So I went ahead and forced the balloons into this wizard tower using the haste belt, hoping to clear up some of these ground defenses. But then the air bomb short everything. So I put down the king on this side for this Tesla. And then here's where it gets a little bit shady, okay? This is the weirdest thing about this entire attack. Was look at this. This king does just fine, but look at the defenses that are left. We got a ton of minions on this side. We got nothing but uh, nothing but minions over here. So if you look over here, we got some air targeting defenses: a archer queen, a wizard tower, and a Tesla. The archer tower just got, went down. The king pops his ability. He made his way all the way through. Got destroyed from that cannon. Now here's the thing. When I was attacking his base, I was sitting here watching this happen, and I said, "Okay, special ability, right?" now and i hit the button and it didn't work it did not work i i swear i swear it on the dark elixir storage that i hit that <laughs> special ability but look at this guys these minions show up and they actually managed to wipe out and kill this wizard tower I, I mean i'm amazed by it but they actually pulled it off so the wizard tower goes down and if it weren't for missing this queen ability that tesla would have been gone and then we would have gotten a three star on this base and luckily for us i mean look at all these barbarians keeping that tesla busy these minis have plenty of time to get the elixir out of that storage and then that is gg so we only missed out on three buildings and the only reason why is because i missed that ability again i have no idea how i know i hit the button but it didn't work. So, we almost got a three star, but again, that, is, that didn't really matter. I mean, let's be honest, whenever you're farming, all you care about is the loot. And that was amazing loot. 600,000 gold, 500,000 elixir, 2200 dark elixir, plus our Crystal League loot bonus. Guys, loot down here in the Crystal League is absolutely amazing. So now, guys, I'm going to grab another army. Let's go do another live. Hey, a dead town all nine. This is fun because one of the best things about these kind of bases is that you can actually barch style with Lunian. Now, I'm not going to do that because that's actually way less entertaining. We can take on this base, maybe even three star. But what you literally can do with these bases, because all the loot's on the exterior, is you can just throw down Lunian's uh, uh, balloons and then minions to take out all the loot. No big deal. So what we're going to do, because that's not near as fun. Did I just put down a troop? No, that was weird looking. All right, we're going to go out this base from the queen side, but I'm pretty sure, pretty confident that we're going to three it. And here's why, because I've got a CC hound. Now let's get this poison spell down. Let's get these balloons in behind. I generally go a three finger, uh, the three finger deployment there, but sometimes I go with more, depends. Uh, but there we go. Hey, spells are down. And then let's kind of predict where these guys are going to go. Looks like they're probably going to go in this direction. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of balloons in the middle. We, we will rage those in the center there. And um, that sweeper is the worst, man. Golly, let's haste these groups up here. Kind of like a kind of like a sniper, or like a sniper, like a ninja group. We need a ninja group of balloons to get in here and take out this stinking sweeper. It's the worst. Everything went in one direction because of one stinking sweeper. That's why I hate the sweeper so much. But hey, it's a great defense, right? So uh, it looks a little bit like we're not going to three-star, but let's just see. Okay, I think these balloons are going to do a pretty good amount of work still. Our heroes may be able to still take this thing down. I'm going to get that last minion down just for the fun of it and yes it looks like uh we're gonna need to use our heroes for the remainder of this attack so let's get this king and this queen in and they're gonna start on the outside of the ring base there or like the the ring of trash and then work the way around now we got a lot of balloons still alive too they might actually survive let's get this king up ahead through and maybe he'll start tanking instead of the balloons and if that happens we're guaranteed the three yeah we're gonna get this three no big deal watch this this archer tower is busy on the king they're gonna turn around and then they're gonna get wrecked by balloons perfect perfect Three star. Of course, it was a dead ton of nine, so that was expected, but I, I almost barge style this base, and I'm glad I did it because it's so much more fun to three star these bases than to just throw troops around and get loot, right? But that worked out really, really well. So Tech Me got three starred for a grand total of 375,000 golden elixir and about 3,000 dark elixir. That was pretty good, plus 20 trophies. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. So I am now going to have to make a few decisions. Let's hop over to our progress base and figure out how we're going to spin this loot. I have an 82,000 dark elixir in my storage. The king upgrade, which will be here for level 16, is 70,000. So we could upgrade our king. We don't have enough for the queen. That's 95,000. We're only 13,000 off. That's not bad, but can't upgrade the queen, but we can't do the king. But the other option would be to upgrade the Valkyries. That's 60,000, which leaves us a little bit extra. So I've got to make that decision. But before we make that decision, I've got a whole bunch of builders to use up now these four spring traps are maxed out now i did them between episodes so let me go ahead and move them out of the way i just want to leave them there that way i didn't uh you know just do it not tell y'all i'd like to keep y'all up to date i like to get 
the uh, boring upgrades done off camera if I can, and that includes traps. I, I just find that even though traps are almost more beneficial to upgrade than defenses, it's still not near as fun to watch, in my opinion. But, I, I, you know, I mix it up. I do it if I can. But there we go. There's the spring traps that I maxed out. I've got two more left. So let's go ahead and finish these babies off. That's two upgrades, and that'll be the finale of our traps in our town on nine. I didn't realize that was going to happen today, but we are finally done. We have finally maxed out our traps on our town on nine. Jasper, that is super exciting, guys. Let's get these, let's get these things out of here. We don't need to stare at them anymore. Come on, buddy. Get up here. Get out of here. There we go. Nice. Let's collect all that. Now, guys, all we have left on this base are walls, defenses, heroes, and laboratory. All the simple things in life. And I'm super excited about finishing up and continuing to progress on this base. Let's get this queen out of here and this king down here. Kind of uh, disorganized right now. But now, here's what we need to do, guys. First of all, just mentioning and reminding you guys that I do not max out my expos until my heroes hit level 2020. So we're going to wait on those expos, but everything else is free game. Let's do this. So the next gold upgrade we're going to do are these wizard towers to level 6. That's 3.7 million gold, which means I can do one of them. So let's go ahead and do it, guys. In 3, 2, 1, bang! 3.7 million six day upgrade that is very nice now i don't know if level seven's maxed i i'm not gonna like go wiki it right now i'd rather just wait and find out so that is there and i don't have enough gold for any other defenses so we're gonna have two builders remaining unless i upgrade a king so next step guys is let's we, we have to decide what we're gonna do do i want to upgrade my king and then maybe upgrade the more important upgrades uh for elixir that's baby dragon the baby dragon will be my preferred next upgrade for the laboratory if we use elixir if we decide to use dark elixir then we'll upgrade the valkyries now i generally don't need valkyries to three star in war as a town hall nine so that's why they haven't been used although they're in a fantastic troop and i highly recommend them for anybody that wants to be good at war but i still think that the baby dragon funneling troop would be better for me at this point which means that we're going to be spending five million elixir and we're going to be upgrading the king today to level 16 so that means that i'm going to have how many two million elixir left over for walls now before we do that let's actually collect our treasury that's not a lot it's not gonna make a big difference but now we have enough gold to upgrade a wall so that's awesome let's go ahead and use the million for gold in a wall there we go and then let's do two with elixir so that was three walls not a lot but not bad and then lastly let's upgrade the baby dragons in the clan castle i believe level two smacks with ton of lines so let's do this five million elixir eight day upgrading three two one bam there we go. Oh, man. We're so broke at Golden Elixir. And lastly, guys, it's time to upgrade our king to level 16. And that's a 70,000 Dark Elixir upgrade. I, I chose to upgrade my king instead of my Valkyries because baby dragons just as important maybe even more so so i figured might as well get them done and upgrade the king in the same episode so let's guys let's do this 70,000 dark collection seven day upgrade get the king going in three two one bam very very nice guys so that's gonna do it we did a lot to oh and look at that we made it into master league three that's pretty sweet. Is that my record? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah. I, I hit uh, Champion League with my title 8 on this account, so that makes sense. Okay. Well, then. Masters League today. We finished off our traps. We've been enjoying some Lunian farming. I mean, like, seriously, if I look through and show you guys 3-star, 2-star, remember that? 2-star, 5,000 Dark Elixir, 95% 2-star, 3-star, 61% 1-star. I believe that was a 10. I don't know. 3-star, uh, 3-star, three 3-star, three 96%, and then a 1-star on a Town Hall 10 at the bottom. So, the loot's been great. We've been having a good time. I love my Lunium. And, of course, if I can get a hand on the clan castle, that seems to make a huge difference in how well we do. But great time today, guys. Again, max traps. We are now working, seriously working on defenses. And, of course, continuing to work on our heroes to get them to max. And always keeping our lab going. So, Baby Dragon in eight days. Super, super exciting. And uh, the progress is being made, guys. But after all... It, of that is said that is it for today thank you guys so much for tuning in like this video if you liked it and subscribe and join the class family if you have not done so already for daily clash of clans videos and streams and whatnot and uh, um, that's it for me guys i love each and every one of you and as always i will see y'all again next time <laughs>